social media, and athletes. Uh, I've heard forever, use your platform, use your platform. I remember being at a basketball camp, John Thompson, legendary coach at Georgetown, came in, had a deflated basketball. He said, what are you gonna do when the game's over? That was what his whole speech was about. And so use the platform has been a message I've heard for a long time. But at the same time, using your platform has never been more quantifiable than it is today with social media because the platform literally is tangible. How many followers do you have? How well do you interact with your followers? All the things that come with social. Now I follow you on social and you do well where I've seen other athletes uh, do well, Instagram, Twitter, but where you do well that I haven't seen as many athletes do well is Facebook. You got a, a Facebook page, you sponsor stuff. You've done a great job early on in your Dallas Cowboys career, haven't even started the season, at really branding yourself. Right. Talk about social full circle and how, you, what, what's your philosophy as an athlete on social media? Well, I feel like you should represent, you know, your brand in all assets of social media. So I'm probably one of the only ones, you know, not many have a Facebook page. Right, but I feel we're like, young, right? We but I feel like you should have every social media platform because they all have different demographics That's right. of age groups. So you gotta cater to every crowd, not just one or two. So I feel like that's an area that, you know, more athletes can use to their advantage because they're leaving out so many people that they can have on their, you know, side on Facebook. Sure. You know, it's an older, generation on Facebook, right? So I feel like they can use that to their advantage as well. But like you said, I sponsor, I do a lot of things with my posts and I just try to stay consistent and uh, you know keep a good brand and just to inspire people because that's my ultimate goal. Good brand, once again, some guys watch and they're like, what does that mean, right? And I get it. So to me, you know, building multiple brands, I've always had this marketing philosophy, it's message, market, media. You gotta establish your message, you gotta fit, say what's the market or markets I wanna reach, you gotta pick the different social medias to get to those markets through. What's your philosophy? How should social work as far as establishing a good brand? Because good brand could just be very abstract to a lot of people watching. Well, certain athletes have certain brands that they wanna maintain, but if you wanna have a great brand, I feel like, you know, they should, you know, start trying to, you know, be inspirational, um, use their platform for the good because there's a lot of people that look up to us as athletes. And I have people that hit me up all the time just wanting to learn about trading, you know, um, just saying how much they, you know, look up to me. And so I try to use my brand and my platforms to keep inspiring those people that do great in life. And, um, you know, it can t you never know what, it, how, you know, what life you can impact by doing that. So, yeah. I just feel like we all have followers and we all are hometown heroes wherever we're from. So we need to use that to impact our hometowns or the people that follow us.